Looks like you've hit a snag. For the last time. Maybe. Depends if I give enough of a crap or not. But in this episode, we have collected all of the Power Stars. And so, with our pockets full of coins and sunshine, we will ascend into the happy place that is our not-so-happy place because it is the place of our enemies. So with a full mind, a full spirit, and a fully, fully full, we're going to enter the domain of Bowser. Come on, Mario! We're gonna need it! Cause you know, you kinda suck. You've been dying a lot. Seriously, you should get that checked out. I don't know how you keep doing that. What are you, a cat? I don't need no gossip from your little ass boy. Seriously, you've been on my case this entire time. Dog, I can't be. I can't. Ooh. Ooh. I'll get, I'll get you. I'm gonna get you, boy. Anyway. Are you prepared to travel to the center of the universe? Yes, undies and socks have been packed, ma'am. Alright then, off we go. And so, we begin our final ascent to the end of the game. Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, the fate of the universe. Rest within the two hands of a fat guy who had too much pasta linguine before he left on this trip. It's amazing what the circumstances call for during these times of crisis, isn't it? So! We have these searchlights for here, and apparently they manipulate the gravity, that way we're on our side. How confusing does that get? Pretty confusing. But we're already used to the mechanics, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And we're already done with it. Just gotta wait for this one and keep going. I always like the music in this area, it really builds up for the... for what's to come. And you know it's to come, because... Well, let's face it, they've been hinting at it the entire game. I mean, seriously, it's like... How could you not know it's to come? Have you not been paying attention? Do you not know what a Mario is? It is a person at uh, that sells pizza. Yes. Pay attention to next time. We're at the end of the game for Pete's sake. How have you not pay attention? But um, there's a particular reason why I like this area, and it's because it brings in elements that you from um like the game, like lava islands, ice island, ice areas. Um, it brings in all sorts of cool elements that you've seen in your journeys, and I always like it when games do that. It's like a final recap of what you've done, the interesting things you've done throughout your journeys, and it, it just like, look at what you've overcome, look at what you've seen. This is it in a smaller form, but it's not like, sh ah, I, I always like that. It's As long as you can do it right, where it's not like this huge time waster, it's, it's always nice when they uh, do this kind of thing. I also like this planet. It looks very similar to the um, middle of the spaceship with the star thing powered. The actual planet of that. Now we got sand planet. <laughs> uh, are we gonna do adventure planet? <laughs> or was it? Is it an adventure planet? I don't know. I think it was the one with the gold. The, 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 where they find the, the gold and they were like pirates and. Oh, no, it was a spa space planet? No, uh. 
I, I don't know. I'll just call it a different planet. That sounds right. But anyway, yeah. You notice a lot of um, the uh, stuff that they use right here is uh, they kind of have it building in front of you, kind of like in that uh, one galaxy. And uh, I, f I forget the name of it. I think it's uh, damn it. No, its its name isn't damn it. It's just I can't remember it off the top of my head. Space Junk Galaxy. That's it. It's uh, one of the first ones. Well, the second dome, but you get the idea. So they're gonna shoot bullet bills at you, but uh, if you're smart enough, you can avoid them quite easily. Also, don't get squashed, because, um, yeah, I don't like vegetables. Vegetables would... A ve being a vegetable right now would not be the best thing to be, because, quite frankly, we're trying to save the freaking universe, and they're gonna try to turn me into a vegetable? Hell no, bro! Oh, crap, bonsai! Bonsai bill. Oh, crap, bullet bill. Everything in Grandma Jehoshaphat's trying to kill me. That's like for every freaking episode that I've ever made of anything ever. Say that five times fast. I know my challenges on that aren't exactly the best, but seriously. The best... I, I don't even remember what I said. <laughs> I can't even do it. Oh god. Wow, I haven't even died once. Why did I say that? <laughs> Not good. Not good. Did I make it to the end? Holy crap, I made it to the end without dying once! How easy is that? I am awesome. Awesome. Okay, I want you to take this in for a minute. Look how big he is compared to Peach. I know he's a little bit in the foreground, but even if he was a little bit further back, look how big he is compared to Peach. The hell is that? Seriously. Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, because she's with me. She wants the D. The dinosaur, you know, to ride one. Not that way. Oh, and this is our final, final ascension, because the final one wasn't the final one, you know. That was the teaser. Listen to that music. The music's again. Awesome. Okay. So, along the way, we can grab these power-ups. It's not that hard to actually take your time and do it, because, uh... It's, it doesn't break behind you that fast. Although, the meteors are kind of annoying. Anyway. Kazutite. You got here just in time to see the creation of the galaxy in the center of the universe. I forgot I wasn't going to do the voice. Watch and weep! Oh no, there's the thing that I already saw before I even came here! From this galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever! I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So, Mario, as you can see, I got a big plans, and stopping you is at the top of my list. Been slacking behind on the plans, procrastinating a little bit, because uh, I mean, I gave you three opportunities to do it, yet you've never taken the opportunity. Been feeling a bit lazy there, Bowser. So yes, as you can see right here, he's going to roll up into a ball for some reason, like on those other planets. And uh, we have to hit him hit him in the face in order to deal damage to him. He gets a little hard the second time around, and uh, yeah, it's, it's alright. Because he does spin a little bit faster, but um, if you're good with timing, I believe you can actually hit him quite easily. Uh, you just got to run away from him directly and then wait for the proper opportunity. Other than that, pretty simple. Then we go on to phase two. Different planet. Yeah, that's a creative name for a planet, ain't it? I came up with it myself! So the gimmick with this one is you have to hit him with the, um... You know, these green plants here that we've seen at the beginning of the game. But he's gonna roll around the planet, and that's the only time you get to do it, too, so... Take extra precaution and, uh, aim your shots accordingly. Oh, I messed that up terribly. Oh no, my star brits. My star britches. No, save the star britches. Lord have mercy. No, no, come back. Damn it. I almost, I almost had him. Almost, Steady. There we go. And then he does the spinny thing again. Man, Bowser. Why do you always seem to get hit the same exact way every time? Okay. Now he's going to throw, like, what, seven in a row? Okay. Why not? You know... That's, that's what you do. I'm not gonna complain. 
Look at all them fireballs, man. Oh god, oh god. Whew. I almost got hit. Do not want. Do not want. Okay, so I'm thinking of a strategy, and the best one I can think of is to wait until he does that. Go right in front of him and hit it. Yeah, there we go. That's the best way to do it. Oh, 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 oh. oh he hit me. Hold on. Carry on. And we actually have a third phase. And the special thing about this phase, I absolutely love this. Listen to the musics. Listen to the musics. Okay. Oh. Okay, enough of that. But, uh, yeah, you pretty much have to defeat him, like, the first time that you, uh, fought Bowser. And it's actually kind of fun. Although this phase right here, it's hectic. Everything at once. Watch it. Fireballs. Fireballs, yeah. That's a thing. Then you gotta jump over the electric fields. Then the fireballs come back. Then he's gonna do the spinny thing. Oh, well, he would have if I didn't, you know, just screw that up. Just now he's gonna jump. And now, for our final assault. Brace yourselves, people. Brace your buttocks. Hold it tight. Clinch those cheeks as if you haven't had one before. And brace for impact! Then he died. I apologize that it's clear, it's just I had to, you know, complete the get whole thing before I, you know collected it so sorry if I kind of ruined that for you but anyway <laughs> you got a grand star
Welcome! Welcome, New Galaxy! And that's my fellow space goers with Super Mario Galaxy. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or the series, Enjoy! Buy the game! Have fun with it! It's quite the fun adventure! Don't buy the second one though! The second one- oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> the second one's good, but, um, I'm just saying. Anyway, um, basically this song right here can get copyrighted. Um, Nintendo will, um, copyright the song if I don't keep talking because, uh, they've done that before. I had the, the outro song on to, uh, all the videos and I think the song went on a little too long. And it got third-party claim, I think. But besides that, um, this is all, you know, credits. We had fun. We had fun, didn't we? Did it, we? I, I, I like to think we did. I enjoyed myself quite thoroughly. Because I, uh, this is one of my favorite games. Because I just love the atmosphere that this uh, game builds. The entire game is based around space, and I get that feeling throughout the entire game, which is why um, I like it. Like, uh, Super Mario Sunshine, even though you're in a different environment, like, say, um, the uh, Piazza Village or whatnot, you still feel like you're on a vacation because of the music in the background and everything. When I'm in this game, too, I... I also get that feeling of, uh, like I'm in space, because there's usually these dark atmospheres, you got those instruments that work really well with it, and that's something I really like, like about this game, because even though the area looks a little bit different, I still always feel like I am in space because of the gravity and everything, and that's one of the things that I like about this game, it has the atmosphere that I like. Um, I know there's complaints about, like, the, uh, cutscenes and what, uh, the, um, yeah, I guess the cutscenes or whatnot, but uh, th th there aren't that many. There's, there's like one at the beginning and one at the end. I mean, what do you want them to do? <laughs> oh my god, there's too many! There's one after every freaking time! <laughs> it's too cinematic! Too cinematic! I know that's not, um, 
I know that's not everybody, that's just, uh, this is what I hear from people. But I like this game, you know? It's just one of my favorite ones. I think it, uh, it did very well for what the platforming series of Mario games is known for, and I, I respect it in that sense. It's memorable, too. I remember a lot from this game. Every time I, every time I think back to this game, I always... I could just remember a lot from it, like, just from the mere thought of the name of this game, and that's... That's just why I really like it, why I wanted to play it. And, um... Plans for, um, the next thing, I'm gonna finish Ocarina of Time, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, actually bought a... Uh, camera stand. Cost about 15 bucks, so that should, uh, work out a lot better. I don't have to keep moving the camera around. I had this... I had a, this wonky setup, that way I could actually record myself, excuse me, and, uh, and, uh burp. <laughs> but I, yeah, I had this wonky setup, but now I have a camera stand and I can probably do it a little bit easier. Probably have to clean up my room again, because <laughs> I don't want you guys to see that, it's nasty in here. But other than that, uh, I'd like to thank you all again for watching. And if you enjoyed this, um, buy the game. I really highly recommend it. It's it's a blast. It's it truly is. And uh, yeah, that was Super Mario Galaxy. So I'll see you guys back once again for Ocarina of Time. You know, if you're kind of interested in that. And... Thank you so much for playing my game. No problem, Mario. I really liked it. It's really good. Thank you. Super Luigi Galaxy!